Just in case you missed the big announcement, the Anabars are officially back in stock. I'm filming this video in advance, so they might already be sold out. So if you don't want to miss out, head over to finalbossformance.com, use code RJF10 to save 10%. Best protein bar on the market, don't at me. In today's video, we're gonna take a trip down memory lane and I'm gonna go through a full day of eating where I eat my old diet. I know I always said I would never go back to chicken, rice, and broccoli and the standard bodybuilding stuff, but today, I think it's gonna be good for the content. So I'm gonna go through meal by meal and show you just what I used to do to get shredded and uh, we'll see how it holds up compared to now. Does that sound like fun? If it does, buckle your seatbelts and let's get this video going. So if y'all are ready to get another epic video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! Yeah! And we are back to our bodybuilding roots. We are gonna start our breakfast off how I used to do it for months straight when I'd be cutting. We're gonna keep it simple. We're gonna do two large eggs, 184 grams of liquid egg whites, about 75 grams of spinach, and 40 grams of oatmeal. I haven't had this meal in so long, I'm honestly not even sure how this is gonna turn out. Let's go. So we start by cracking in two large eggs. Gotta get those healthy fats. Then I'll just watch the food scale and weigh out the egg whites. Then in a separate bowl, we weigh out the oats, add a little bit of water and then what we'll actually do speed up time is cook everything at once oatmeal in boom let that go a couple minutes then i weigh out my spinach we got a skillet preheated hit it with nonstick. let our spinach cook down for a minute and once the spinach is cooked down we just scramble our eggs and if you time all this right this actually comes together pretty quick just to spice these up a bit, we'll do a little bit of pepper and a little bit of salt on the eggs. Then for the oats, a little bit of sugar-free syrup, a little bit of cinnamon, give it a stir. Then we'll just put it right on the same plate. And boom, ladies and gentlemen, we got a classic bodybuilding breakfast. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I have not eaten this breakfast in probably at least a year and a half. It's been a minute since I've done the classic eggs, egg whites, oatmeal thing. So let's see how this goes. We got the spinach and the eggs. You'll never forget that taste. That's what they serve in hell. Then the oats, with the maple syrup and the cinnamon, the oats actually aren't that bad. I've had better oats, but those ain't so bad. But the eggs and the spinach is where you're running into a little trouble. Not that it's terrible, but it's not good. You eat this for six weeks straight, you're gonna be begging for someone to give you a dirt nap. But a little hack to get through bland food, throw some sugar-free sauce on it, baby. That G Hughes will just cover up all that egg white and spinach flavor. Mm. Much better with the sauce. So meal one, what we have for the whole meal is only 393 calories, 13 grams of fat, 39 grams of protein, 30 grams of carbs, six grams of fiber. And to put things into perspective, having something like anabolic French toast or one of my waffle recipes is gonna be right around the same calories with about the exact same protein. And I always try to preach this. It's not that you eat the egg whites and the oatmeal and that's where the results come from. It comes from being in a calorie deficit if your goal is fat loss and it comes from eating enough protein. So as much as this works for people and it's simple, it's easy, and I would say arguably, this is a little simpler than some of the more advanced breakfast recipes. I don't find something like this sustainable long-term. Like I'm not here right now enjoying every bite of this, if that makes sense. And I really think if you wanna succeed long-term, term, you got to eat foods you can see yourself eating a year from now, two years from now. For me, I don't see myself eating this a day from now. That's just real talk. I'm going to finish meal one up. It is about 11.43 in the morning. We'll wait a little bit and then we'll get meal two in. Let's go. Home. Don't forget that water, baby. My goal on this old diet and on my new diet is to drink a gallon of water a day. So at the store, I buy a gallon, I pop a funnel in that gallon, and I always put in a couple scoops of aminos for flavor. Just makes getting this gallon through on the day so much easier when it actually tastes like something. And then once she's full, I just give her a shake, and boom, I got a gallon ready for the entire day. If you haven't tried out the Sour Moon Rock aminos, I'm telling you, two scoops of this in here will really light it up. It's like my worst nightmare come to life. We got chicken, we got rice, and we got broccoli. Not a lot of flavor, but what I'm about to show you made prepping for me back in the day super easy. So we got some plain chicken breast tenderloins. These are great because most of the fat is already off, so you just gotta cut it into pieces, makes cooking a breeze. Then I got a steamed jasmine rice packet. I knew in one of these, there was enough rice for two of my meals on the day, so it was perfect. Didn't have to weigh anything out, I just split it in two. And then a steam bag of frozen broccoli. Basically tossed it in the microwave, your broccoli steamed, and it's about as good as it's gonna get for broccoli. So I start by taking a tenderloin and cutting it into tiny pieces. We're trying to weigh out 224 grams. And then once I got my chicken weighed out, I swap it for another plate because while I'm in here cutting chicken and I'm cooking all this, I might as well prep two meals and not just one. It's going to save me time so I don't have to cook later. And what I love about these steam bags is how easy they are. Toss it in, 
Six minutes, perfect. Now we just do some basic chicken frying. No culinary skills needed. Just a little nonstick, toss the chicken in, spread her out and let her cook. And once the chicken's done, I sort it into a couple meal prep containers. I'm gonna pull out my steamed broccoli and weigh out 84 grams, swap containers, do the same thing again. And then finally, I just go on my rice and we're gonna weigh out 140 grams in each container. All right, meal two, we got, you already know, chicken, rice, and broccoli. I swore I'd never eat this again, but here we are. Now let's just get in here, get a slice of broccoli, a little bit of rice, a little bit of chicken. Huh, you jealous, huh? Let's go. Ooh, I don't know how people eat broccoli every day. I'll never get it. But lucky for us, we got sauce to handle the problem. I'm gonna put some sriracha on this, give it a little flavor and take away some of that blandness. Let some of that heat drown out that broccoli. See if this improves it. <laughs> Definitely better. When it comes down to eating these meals, it's really about the sauces. Now meal two, what we got for the whole thing is only 492 calories, four grams of fat, 56 grams of protein, 58 grams of carbs, two grams of fiber. And to be honest, like this is easy, this is simple. Gets the job done for sure. But honestly, I mean, there, there's better ways to diet than this, in my opinion. And you might be like, well, Rem, why would anybody eat this if they could eat something way better for the same calories? Why would they do this? And to be completely honest, I think if you are like prepping for a show, you're 10 weeks out, six weeks out, eating like this eliminates a lot of variables that could cause things to go wrong with your cut. I know I said the amount of calories and protein you eat in a day, as long as you hit those numbers, you're gonna see results. But there's things like sodium and some people have weird reactions to certain types of foods. You'll see a lot of coaches get to a point with a diet where they want you to be as lean as possible and bring the best possible physique onto a stage. You're eliminating anything that might have extra salt. You're eliminating things like caffeine. You're doing all these weird little tweaks to make sure the body is 100% optimal. So if you got a competition or you're really trying to hit a deadline, maybe this is your best bet because you don't know exactly how you might react to having extra extra dairy in your diet, having a little bit of sugar, things like that. But doing it this way kind of gives you that peace of mind where you know like, all right, if you have a reaction, it could only be chicken, it could only be rice, or it could only be broccoli instead of maybe a myriad of other things, if that makes sense. Oh, and speaking of something I would always do on my old diets, iced coffee, baby. Little hack here, I buy Starbucks iced coffee, pour it in, put some ice in it, some sugar-free syrup, a little bit of zero calorie sweetener, whisk her up, and you got a zero calorie coffee drink. Cause Lord knows when you're cutting and you've been doing it for 16 weeks, you need all the energy you can get. Ooh, is this meal two? I'm gonna eat this and I will see you guys back for a meal three. Let's go. Um. You would be hard pressed to look at any of my old meal plans and not see a protein shake right there in the middle. These were mythical back when I first started dieting. Whether you got it in immediately after your workout in that 60 minute anabolic window, or you got one before bed so your body didn't go catabolic while you were sleeping, the bro science back then was rampant. I rarely drink protein shakes these days, but for old time's sake, let's get one in. The convenience cannot be understated. We weigh out two scoops or 62 grams in our shaker cup, and we just add a little bit of water Water, twist on that lid, give her a shake, and bottoms up. Oh, obviously I got that final boss cinnamon toast swirl. So the flavor is not bad at all, but man, I do not like drinking my calories. As much as this is a convenient way to get in about 50 grams of protein, keeping those calories low, this is just not really something that sticks with you long. It might fill you up for like 30 minutes and then you're gonna be hungry again almost immediately. When I do use protein powder these days, it is in recipes, my desserts, like my anabolic ice cream, anabolic cheesecake, power oatmeal, a lot of different recipes we can use protein powder in. It's gonna add that protein while giving you still something that you enjoy much more than drinking a shake. So meal three, we have 234 calories, two grams of fat, 50 grams of protein, four grams of carbs, zero grams of fiber. So I'm gonna drink this. I'll see you guys back for meal four. Cheers. Back in my heyday, one of my favorite things to do as a meal, this was basically like my dessert, was to take a protein bar and put a little bit of peanut butter on it. Think about that. The highlight of my old diet was taking a protein bar and putting peanut butter on it. What a precarious position to be in. So what I would do is weigh out 32 grams of peanut butter on a knife, and then once I had it, I just spread it on top of my bar, and once we applied the finishing touches, we would have a masterpiece. Look at that thing, man. <laughs> this used to be the highlight of my diet, man. Me and my my girlfriend at the time would eat these in bed. This would be like the final meal of the day. We put on a good movie and I was so excited to have my protein bar with peanut butter on it. Whew. Times have changed. And back then I was eating them basic boring protein bars. So I've never actually done this with an Anna bar before. So let's see what happens. Three, two, one, let go. Mm. 
If I did this all the time, it would be a problem. So spoiler alert, this is gonna be the closest thing I get to a dessert today. Mm, no. Good Lord. You gotta try this one. You gotta tag me on Instagram. Let me know what you think. Now for my fourth meal of the day, in this little concoction, we have 431 calories, 27 grams of fat, 29 grams of protein, 18 grams of carbs, four grams of fiber. It's about 4 p.m. right now, so I'm gonna finish this and we got one more meal left and then this old school meal plan is over. And honestly, I'm looking forward to that. So I'll see y'all here in a second. Come on. And as I sit down to do some editing, our fifth meal is extremely convenient because we already prepped it. We got the chicken, we got the rice, and we got the broccoli from earlier. Not really my idea of a great final meal, but hey, sometimes reliving the past hurts. So in our final meal, it is the same thing as meal two. We have 492 calories, four grams of fat, 56 grams of protein, 58 grams of carbs, two grams of fiber. And as always, I got that Ghu sugar-free barbecue sauce on top just to add a little flavor to an otherwise bland dish. This sauce is basically like putting a mini skirt on a four. And here we go. Mm, I mean, it's chicken, rice, and broccoli. So in this entire plan, if you take all five meals, what you end up with for the whole thing is only 2,042 calories, only 50 grams of fat, 230 grams of protein, 168 grams of carbs, 14 grams of fiber. And when I'm looking at these macros, these are exactly what I used to follow on my old diets. So I wanted at least 50 grams of fat. I wanted my protein to be roughly 1.3 to 1.5 times my body weight. And I wanted my carbs to be below 200, but like right above 150. So this is literally exactly what I used to do. And to be completely honest with you, this is the last time I would do it unless I'm actually doing a video where I'm revisiting this again because there is no reason why when there's so many different, better, more sustainable foods available to eat this. I mean, I'm not knocking anybody that does this. If there's people that find satisfaction out of this and you legitimately love this, that's fine. But for me, I'm a foodie. I used to always rebound my weight immediately after coming off a diet like this just because it was something that wasn't sustainable and I did not enjoy it. So as much as this has been a fun experiment and I'm kind of glad I got to relive all the trauma. This is not something I will be doing again. And if you also think that this diet looked boring and you want something that's more sustainable, something where you eat delicious food all day, don't forget you can check out any of the videos on my channel. I have meal plan videos, anabolic recipes, tons of things to make this whole process something you can enjoy for the long term. And if you want the ultimate guide in your pocket, check out my RJF anabolic cookbook available at the link in my description. Every recipe on this channel broken down and easy to use guide that way. If you have a craving you want to crush and you want to make a food, we want like the better version of it, like anabolic French toast, the ice cream, the pizzas, things like that. You have the ultimate guide in your pocket to take to the store with you. You know what to weigh out, you know what to measure, everything. So check that out for everybody that's gotten this. I appreciate you so much. And remember, if you get it once, you get every future recipe I have for free. So really, it's the gift that keeps on growing and giving. So thank you guys very much. Anabar restock, do not forget, those are available. Actually, they might not even be available right now if we sell out that quick. So act fast, finalbossformers.com, code RGF10. Thank you guys for the support on that. Smash thumbs up, comment anything down below. What kind of videos? Do you want to see me make, subscribe, all that good stuff? I am exhausted and I need to finish this video up. So until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see each and every one of you at the next video. See you guys. Time to slog through this pile of gruel. Oh, no.